So back in England, we converted this into what's called a soul, a self-organized learning environment. You can create it inside a school. It's very easy. You take a classroom, empty out the furniture, put in about four or five computers. Let's say put in five computers. The computers should have big screens. I'll tell you why in a moment. And then you bring in 20 children and ask them a big question. What's a big question? I'll give you an example. If they're, say, nine years old, um, a question which I have tried is, why do fingernails grow? So the nine-year-olds would say, what do you mean? So I'd say, you know, they keep growing and you have to cut them off. And if you don't cut them off, they keep on growing into very funny shapes. What on earth for? I mean, that's so wasteful. Why do fingernails grow? It's just the kind of thing that, you know, five to ten-year-olds will ask. And then you tell them, well, I don't know the answer, so why don't you use the computers? And back in England, they would say, where are all the other computers? There are only five. And I would say, just like that. And they'd say, OK, so we'll go for it. Now, you don't have to tell them to make groups. If there are five computers and 20 children, what else can they do? If you tell them to make groups, you are being prescriptive. If you don't tell them to make groups, they invent making groups by themselves. They'll make small groups, big groups. All you tell them is that one rule of the school can be broken. They can talk as much as they want. And that they can use the internet and off they go. It may be a funny question why fingernails grow, but let me tell you, the answer is not funny at all. The answer lies deep inside anthropology, cellular biology, and the children will drift inside all of those words, mixing up all the subjects together. And we'll come back, usually in about 25 minutes, with things that you didn't know.